Belmont High School. This is Mr. Aiden, and uh, I'm going to be detailing the 2005 AP Chemistry Free Response question. And this is a stoichiometry question in that it's a, uh, it's a combustion of an unknown compound that we're trying to find the empirical formula of. We've got to be really good at these problems, so let's, let me show you how to do it. We start with 1.9061 grams of carbon dioxide. What can I find from that carbon dioxide? I can find just the carbon in it by multiplying by its percentage, which is 12.01 grams per mole of carbon divided by 44.01 grams per mole of carbon dioxide. And you see what's going to happen there is I'm going to end up getting just the grams of carbon which would be 0 0.5202 grams of carbon. And you see I hold four significant digits because that's what I see in my problem. Now I have the water, and I'm going to take the water's mass, 0 0.3370 grams of water, and I'm able to find just the mass of hydrogen out of that water. We know hydrogen's molar mass in that water is 2.016 grams per mole of H since I have two moles of H within that water. Water's molar mass in total is 18.016 grams per mole. And what am I going to be left with when I do this multiplication and division problem? I'm going to be ending up with 0 0.03771 grams of just hydrogen. Now that we know the grams of carbon from the carbon dioxide and we know the grams of hydrogen from the water, we're able to find the grams of oxygen from the sample. The sample was 0.7549 grams. And it contained carbon. It also contained hydrogen. Which means it was left over with grams of oxygen. 0 0.1970 grams. So that was part A1, which was calculate the individual masses of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And you get three points for that. Now part two says determine the empirical formula for the compound. So what I'm going to start with here is my 0 0.5202 grams of carbon, my 0 0.03771 grams of hydrogen, and my 0 0.01970 grams of oxygen. And in order to find the empirical formula, I have to divide by the individual molar masses because we're trying to find a ratio of moles. And if you see, I will do that for each element. And I end up getting point 0 0.04331 moles of carbon, 0 0.03741 moles of hydrogen, and 0 0.01231 moles of oxygen. That's worth one point. And at this point, I have all three moles. And I can't quite see my molar ratio, so what I'm going to do is divide by the smallest one. I'm going to divide them all by the 0 0.0123 moles. And I end up getting a molar ratio of 3.5 carbons, 3 hydrogens, and 1 oxygen. Now that doesn't come out to a whole simple whole number ratio. So I need to multiply all my moles by 2. So I actually have 7 carbons, 6 hydrogens, and 2 oxygens. And that is my empirical formula, worth one more point. So this problem number 2, A, is worth 5 total points. 3 points for the individual masses of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. One point for finding my moles of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and one point for, for finding the empirical formula. Hope this helped the Down High School. Uh, I'll be back broadcasting some more tutorials a little bit later. Thanks. Bye.